What is going on today guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Jay and if this is your first time here, welcome to you as well. Today I thought we'd take a close look at my recently acquired uh, Fender Blues Junior 3 amplifier. It's a very small compact 112 combo amp. It is a 15 watt amp it's, and it's running a 50 watt eminence speaker. Uh, it's referred to as the Fender Lightning Bolt speaker, I guess because of the sticker on the back, whatever. Yeah, it's kind of got a vintage vibe and look to it, you know, sound. As you probably know from watching other videos on my channel, I'm not really much of a vintage guy uh, as far as sound, looks, performance, but I do love listening to blues, old blues, delta blues, classic rock. I want to get into it. I just like all kinds of music. Let's just say that. This amplifier was manufactured in 2011. So the controls on the top surface here, really straightforward. It's got a volume, bass, mid, treble, a master, and then it's also got a reverb. Uh, the reverb in this is a real spring tank reverb. And it does one thing and it does it well, so we'll get into that too. But first we'll start off with a clean, dry tone, and then we'll add that in uh, to show you what it sounds like. Uh, lastly, I would mention it has a fat switch on top as well. The fat switch basically boosts the, the gains, it pushes the gains up as well as the mids. I, to give you more of a lead tone, I suppose, there is a foot switch that's optional, that's available for this amplifier that does just that. It, it basically engages the fat switch for you. I don't have it, but maybe I'll get that in the future, who knows. Uh, lastly, I would mention that the power switch is a toggle, um, like most amplifiers. However, it does not have a standby mode, so it's just on off. I think one of the first modifications I would like to do with this amplifier is basically to put in a three-way toggle so that there's a standby mode in there. Uh, that would be useful. The rig is really simple. I'll run you through the signal chain now. It's just bare bones. It's Guitar Amp Logic Pro. Uh, Harley Benton SC552, recently acquired, running straight into the amplifier. It's mic'd up with an SM57, which is going into my Scarlett Focusrite uh, interface, and then into Logic Pro. Done. Let's just geek out on this amp together and uh, see what kind of sounds we get out of it. And if you already own this amplifier or you've modified one of these, I would love to hear your story down in the comments below. You know, what you've done to it, what you'd like to do to it, what you think about the tone samples here. Um, the speaker has some questionable kind of tone to it overall, I think. A lot of people mod these and swap that speaker out. That's like the first modification they do to this amp. So we'll get into some more of my, you know, modification options later on of what I might do with it. But for now, I just want you to hear what it sounds like bone stock. And again, this is the, the three version. They've now upgraded or updated the amplifier to the four, which has a different speaker and a bunch of different, you know, upgrades. So yeah, without further ado, let's just kind of get into it here and let me know what your thoughts are on this, on the tone. Holy! <laughs> All right, guys, I'm just kidding. But seriously, here's what it sounds like. Turn up the reverb, see what we get. Put it up to about uh, five on the dial, how's that? Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now I'll drop the reverb down a little bit to about two o'clock. Just enough to give it some kind of artificial headroom to make it sound like it's in the room. And then we're gonna turn on the, uh, I've got the MXR Super Badass 78 Custom Distortion uh, rigged up and ready to go. And we'll start with the distortion all the way down. And the output's kind of at Unity Gain. Right, next up let's try the amplifier with uh, your typical tube screamer in front of it so I've got an Ibanez TS9 here and uh, first off here is the uh, clean tone without the pedal in the neck position uh, rather the bridge position <laughs> with the tube screamer on uh, with the distortion all the way down the overdrive all the way down Okay, and lastly, I thought it might be fun to throw a phase pedal on this, uh, see what that sounds like for more of a vintage-y, uh, fun vibe, kind of a tremolo effect. Phaser, actually, but... Again, here's the clean. With a little bit of reverb here. Okay, now the phaser. Turn the phaser up just a little bit here to about nine o'clock.
folks, just a little sampling of some of the sounds that you can get, that I can get anyways, from the Fender Blues Junior 3. Yeah, I definitely want to consider several modifications to this amp. I feel that it does sound very boxy and square and small overall. Obviously, a lot of that is due in part to the construction and the very small compact um, cabinet for the speaker. So, as far as modifications go, I'm looking at change, swapping out the speaker for one. I'm going to add the three-way toggle switch to incorporate the standby mode. I think as well I'm going to have a bias circuit added. I don't know exactly what that's called, but I've seen that done, that modification, so that you can tweak the bias of the tubes. And I'm also going to uh, consider adding in like a tone stack option, as well as swapping out the capacitors. So basically, uh, I just want to kind of hot rod this thing a little bit, make it sound a little more modern, have, give it a little more headroom and a little more wattage perhaps. I feel that this amp is a little underrated because it's kind of limited in its function. It does sound good at low gain, it does sound good at room volume, but I think when you kind of turn it up, the natural breakup is decent, it's okay, but it's not really something that I'd be looking for. Um, I want something that's a little more useful and has a little bit more dynamic range to it, you know, sonically speaking. So let me know what your thoughts are on the Fender Blues Junior amplifier. Uh, if you have this amp, you know, are you satisfied with it? Do you like the way it sounds? Have you made any modifications to yours? I'd really like to know because, I, like I said, I'm new to this whole vintage gear thing and, you know, I really don't know what to expect. I really don't know exactly what tones I'm looking to get from it, but I do know that I have a lot of fun playing this kind of music and uh, just tinkering around with, this, with the sounds is cool. Again, I'm high gain, distorted metal guy. So playing this kind of amplifier is really, you know, far and away uh, a lot different from what I'm typically used to doing. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. Kind of wrapping it up here. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you uh, enjoy this content, please make sure to hit that subscribe and like button. Notification bell for all the new videos that I'll be posting up. I'm trying to get this algorithm uh, beast under control. To all my subscribers so far, thank you very much. And uh, you know what it is, man. You know what time it is. Stay safe. Stay healthy. See ya!